we want to talk about the financial sector, financial institutions and markets. And we want to understand how the financial sector executes its role as a financial intermediator. If you want to make an investment, if you want to invest in a business or to expand your house, then you can either save out of your own earnings or perhaps you can persuade your neighbor to save and to lend you his savings so you can make your investment. In this way, we know that there has to be savings to finance investment. But how does this work on the scale of a large, complex economy? If you are a farmer in Florencia, in Colombia, and you have a good crop, and so you have some savings this season, and there is an investor in Bogota who wants to expand her financial advice and tax advice business. How do the savings of the farmer in Florencia get into the hands of the investor in Bogota? That is the purpose of an economy's financial system, to intermediate the flow of resources from savers to investors. How does it do this? There are two channels. One is within the institutions in the financial sector, commercial banks and near banks like credit unions and building societies and through insurance companies. So the, the farmer in Florencia can take his savings into the local branch of Scotiabank. He makes a deposit, it goes into a savings account. Scotiabank now has those resources that when the investor walks in in Bogota and says, I would like a, a business loan, they can call upon the savings that were deposited in Florencia. And in that way, a multi-branch institution can connect savers and borrowers over great distances. Savers and borrowers who have no idea that each other exists. Credit unions and building societies operate in the same way. Even insurance companies, which you don't think of as carrying out this role, mostly the premiums that are paid on insurance policies become a pool that the insurance company itself invests in instruments that are used to fund investment. So the institutions in the financial sector, the businesses in the financial sector are one channel through which the financial sector can bring together the surplus of savers and the borrowing needs of investors. A second channel is through financial markets, stock market and the bond market. Here's how this works. Let us say a big conglomerate wants to get into a new line of business and it needs funds to do so. And there are private individuals who have savings that they are willing to make available. How do those two get together without going through a bank? One way is that the business can divide its ownership into shares. And it can take some of those shares, it can take a piece of itself and sell that ownership share to the saver. This is what the stock market is. The stock market, and in particular, initial public offerings of shares of companies, are how companies access funds for investment directly from private savers. 
there's a second market that can bridge that gap. Instead of selling a piece of its ownership, a piece of itself to the saver, it can borrow the money directly from the saver. It does this by issuing a security, an IOU, that is called a bond. It offers the bond, it sells the bond to the private saver. Private saver buys the bond and the bond simply stipulates that after a certain period of time, the bond can be redeemed for the principal plus the interest. The stock is a share of ownership, so it never has to be repaid. If the investor wants to sell, make additional investments, it can sell more shares. If the saver wants to recoup her investment, then she has to sell her shares to some other private saver. Otherwise, her ownership of the business is permanent. With the bond, it will have a particular tenor, a particular period of time after which it is redeemed and the principal is repaid. The stockholder is entitled to the profits as an owner, as a part owner of the business, is it entitled? It, she is entitled to a share of the profits. That is, those are paid over as dividends. The bondholder is not entitled to any profits. The bondholder is paid interest regardless of whether the business is making profits or not. So stock is a security that represents the ownership of a fraction of a corporation. A bond is a security that represents a loan made by a saver to a borrower. So the financial sector made up of institutions and financial markets, the purpose of it is to intermediate between savers and investors.